if you are enjoying what you're doing and you really admire people that can do the thing that you're trying to do, guitar, drawing, whatever it be, then just remind yourself that they probably put in way more time than you and that is not something to beat yourself up about. Hey everybody, it's Mikel again. Back at you again with another video. And today, I'm holding a guitar. I'm shit at the guitar. I'm just holding it to look cool. With that said, I will be holding on to it probably for the rest of the video. This is going to be a shorter one. Uh, this is an idea that I'm trying where I just talk about a concept that I've been thinking about recently that's kind of helped me push past some obstacles, mental obstacles that I've had. And to start off this series, idea, thing, uh, I'm going to talk about the beginner's mindset. If you haven't heard of it, maybe not. A revolutionary thing but it was new to me when I like first thought about it I'd never really thought about things that way so with that let's just go ahead and start talking about it the beginners mindset the easiest comparison is to you know when they talk about like babies or children and how kids just pick things up like so fast um, and then when you're an adult you can't really learn anything because you're you know an adult and that's really the only explanation that they give you they just say like your neurons like don't fire as quickly or things like that um, but the concept of the beginners mindset which I kind of picked up or like really put into my own brain after reading it in the creative act by Rick Rubin um, the books very just inspiring and makes me feel seen as an artist but uh, the beginner's mindset is kind of just like when you approach something that you don't know very well, like me with the guitar, for instance, um, it's better to come at it, pause, from the perspective of you not knowing anything. There was the study about like a game of Go, which is like a Chinese board game, or and this like AI robot like beat the grandmaster of Go uh, without like too much time. And it was kind of because the, one of the reasons being that the Go master like had been playing for so many years, kind of buried his own grave in a way because he's been doing these things for so long and he's was the best. So there's not really any reason to like change things up um, so we, I'm assuming he just played the way that he always played and the AI robot like just was flooded with information of like different practice matches and things and then it said something about the master adhered to like the rules of maybe the methods that he was taught but robots don't give a fuck about rules the robot just did whatever it took to win and maybe did some like moves that like maybe weren't like respected or whatever, but it, they still won in the end. So you can take that with any, like multi, a lot of things. And I've been taking it with like mo almost anything that I've been trying to learn recently, just fully accepting that I don't know what the fuck I'm doing and that's okay. And that's maybe the best way to be. When I do things now with this knowledge, I I just give myself so much more grace and I really try to just like be kind to myself when I'm learning these things. In the book, they're kind of just talking about like you should not get stuck in your ways. Like you should always be willing to try something new to get better or just do something different than you, what you've been doing. But I kind of took it in the way of like, when I learn new things, I need to know that I am a beginner and I'm not going to feel comfortable until I've done it a lot. So I used to draw when I was a kid and I would draw like twice and then it wouldn't look good to me and then I would give up. Now, 
I've been drawing like consistently for the past year or so. Or I've, at the very least, I've drawn more than I've ever drawn in my entire life, like within this past year. And I'm very proud of that for myself. And I've only been able to do that because after I finish a drawing, I have to tell myself that I'm still learning. And they say to master something, you need to put in 10,000 hours. To be good enough to like get paid for your services and things like that, I don't personally think you need to put in 10,000 hours before you do that. But it's, it's like, it's not a finish line. It's just like something to remember. Like, if I don't like what I'm doing, if I don't like how something that I'm doing is turning out, uh, I know that I'm nowhere near 10,000 hours. And kind of, if I haven't put 10,000 hours in, then if I haven't put 10,000 hours in and I still, like, I like the thing that I'm doing, I just know that I'm not good and it's discouraging me, I can't, I can't give up because, like, I can, for sure, but if I haven't put in the 10,000 hours, then it's like I'm not giving myself enough of a chance. My point being, if I'm still ass and I haven't hit 10,000 hours yet, it's because like I haven't put enough time in. I'm like generalizing a little bit. I don't know if I'll ever hit 10,000 hours in anything, to be honest. I have way too many scatterbrained interests, so, but it's something to shoot for and it's something to remember and to remember that when I watch people and their shit looks amazing and it looks effortless, I have to remember that they either have done the 10,000 hours or they're at the very least way closer to it than you are. So that's been really helpful for me not beating myself up in terms of like me creating something and then it doesn't turn out how I want it to. And sometimes, even the greatest artists, like they think of something and then maybe it turns out differently than they expected. And then maybe it's a masterpiece now. The beginner's mindset and the acknowledgement of how far I am away from being a master uh, is very, it, if you look at it the wrong way, like it can be disheartening because 10,000 hours is 10,000 hours, but it can also be like, it can be like encouraging because if you start something, you're not supposed to be good. And the acknowledgement of the 10,000 hours things just really concretes that for me. And hopefully like, maybe if you think about it that way, it'll help you and be kinder to yourself with things like that. So adopt the beginner's mindset. Just be willing to try a bunch of different things one other part of this beginner's mindset thing that I read in the book is that sometimes, like, there's pros and cons to being a beginner and a master. The master, you've been doing it for so long, and when you are stuck in one way, you don't even think that you're stuck in one way. So it's gonna be really hard for you to try something new, potentially. And con of being a beginner, you don't know what the fuck you're doing. But that can also be a superpower. You can try things that a master would have never even thought to try. Long story short, don't beat yourself up because you're not good at something that you just started. Or even, even if you've put in like a hundred hours and you're still not good, think about how far you have to go still. And if you are enjoying what you're doing and you really admire people that can do the thing that you're trying to do, guitar, drawing, whatever it be, then just remind yourself that they've probably put in way more time than you, and that is not something to beat yourself up about. And it just is what it is, and one thing everybody can do is put some damn time in. Everybody can put time in. So the only difference between you and that person you admire could potentially be just how much time they've put in. And that is just what I want you to remember, and me to remember. Please, please let me remember. <laughs> but uh, yeah, let me know if you like this video. Uh, kind of just yapping a little bit, but it's just like a thought that I've been thinking about and it's been really helping me in my journey of trying to become more well, like just become a better artist.
Uh, if you have any suggestions for things like this, or just in general for the channel, go ahead and drop it down and give it a like and maybe subscribe. Uh, and until the next video, I'll see ya, I guess. <laughs> Peace.